A ProPhoto design is a collection of templates, each of which has custom settings and widget layouts that are applied to specific pages on a WordPress site. Our design onboarding wizard makes it easy to connect the included templates and menu links to pages so that the design you start with looks just like the design you see in the demo. The Customize button in ProPhoto Manage Designs initiates the onboarding wizard. If you, for some reason, exit the onboarder before completing it, you can always re-enter by clicking Setup on the design being customized. The wizard first presents you with a choice for what to present on your site's front page, either your blog posts or a separate page you create. If you're familiar with WordPress, these settings might seem familiar to you. Your front page selections are traditionally presented in the Settings Reading area. We have pulled them into ProPhoto so that they can be saved on a per-design basis. A benefit of this is that when in test drive mode, changes here won't affect the version of your site that visitors will see. These settings only apply when ProPhoto and this particular design are active. The pre-selected option is the one the design was set up with and the one shown in the demo, but it's really okay to choose the other. When a page is selected, then you choose an existing page to serve as the landing page for your site, or you can create a page for that right here. The next step is to edit the slug that determines the URL of your blog post page. Simply edit the slug you want. If a page already exists with that slug, ProPhoto will use that page. If a page does not exist with that slug, a new page will be created. These settings can easily be changed later in the ProPhoto Customizer. Toggle the top switch to Design and click Front Page. Step 2 is to connect templates to specific pages. A template is a saved widget layout combined with styling settings that can apply to a single page or a group of pages. The design will automatically connect some templates to universal WordPress page types, and you'll see these in the Assigned Templates area at the bottom. But in cases where a design has templates that are meant to style specific individual pages, those connections are made here in the Unassigned Templates area. You can assign a template to a previously existing page or you can create a new page. For those that have an existing site and are in test drive mode, it's okay to select an existing page. Remember, when you're in test drive, only logged in administrators will see the page styled with ProPhoto and with the new design. Don't fret about these template assignments too much as they can all be changed later on. You may later decide that you don't need a certain template and you will likely create more templates Use the onboarder to get things set up like the demo, knowing that you can make changes from there. The third step is to connect the default links in the design to pages. Some of the menu links used in the design will work automatically, like a link to whatever your blog post page is. But any menu items that are supposed to link to a specific page will be set up here. Again, if a page exists already, you can link to it from the dropdown or you can create a totally new page. Often, the new pages you created when assigning templates are the same ones you will connect to menu links here. All the menus that come with the design will be shown here. Future menus will be created and edited in the ProPhoto Customizer. Click the top left switch to Design and then go to Menus, Menu Builder. The final page in the onboarder it explains how you can use the ProPhoto bar on the front end of your site to locate and customize design elements. With the ProPhoto bar, you can easily locate blocks, rows, columns, widgets, even background images. These are all things that you see on the front end of your site. And from there, you can be taken to the corresponding area in the layout editor where you can make changes. Let this tool become your best friend as you make changes to your site. It's going to save you a lot of time. And remember, if you need to re-enter the onboarder at any time during this process, just click Setup in the Manage Designs area.